everybody and welcome back to my channel I have to make a quick apology before I start because I'm using a different camera and editing situation so this could go really well or it could go really not well so let's see how we go um, anyway so today what we are doing is a nice warm makeup look uh, for, for winter, it's winter here in New Zealand, um, it's quite cold so I thought I'd do something nice and warm to uh, at least make you feel like you might be warm, I don't know, we're going warm. Uh, before I start though, I just want your guys opinion, um, I was thinking next week that I'm going to do a video on colouring my hair because blonde is just not exciting enough for me, uh, so I've got these two colours for you to choose from, uh, I'm thinking either chocolate cherry or... Dirty Mermaid, so if you could leave a comment down below, let me know what colour you think would look awesome on me. I mean, they don't last forever, so I can always pick a different colour um, once it fades out, so um, I can chop and change. But I just don't know which one to do first. So here are the two colours on my fingers to help you with your decision. Which one? Which one? This one's obviously going to be fair bright. This one's going to be a little more muted, um, but it's a really pretty muted blue. So leave your votes and I will do what you tell me to. So I'm just putting on my Krylan foundation in the light ivory shade. Following that up with my CoverGirl concealer. I think this is the lightest shade. I can't read the container anymore because it's all rubbed off, but I'm pretty sure I'm the lightest one. And I'm just applying this with my flat headed foundation brush, which blends it in really nicely. Definitely recommend using one of these. It's changed my life. Blend, 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 blend. Blend. Continue to blend. I'll just check that up close. Okay. Okay, we're good. What's next? Next I'm putting on my powder, just to bake that all on nicely. And uh, this was a Japanese powder that I got in Japan. And the brand is called Kate, and I decided that was a sign. So it's something I must use. It works alright, I don't mind it. And next it is time for some eyeliner. I'm just gonna pop that across the top lid and halfway along the bottom. So from the Venus One palette, I'm using the shade Divine, just to draw out my crease here. I love this shade. I probably use it the most out of any of my eyeshadows because it's just a really good medium tone and it goes with pretty much everything. So, yep, yeah, just drawing out that crease and kind of blending it out a wee bit. Then I'm moving into the shade Jam here, and I'm going to cover my whole lid in that, and damn girl, she is orange! And next thing I am doing is, I'm using the shade Muse here, just to deepen my socket and the outer corner of my eye with a socket brush. Funnily enough, make sure you blend! I'm just adding the same shade Muse under my eye, not all the way across, but almost. Next thing I'm doing is grabbing the shade Shell. Absolutely love this shade. The camera doesn't actually do it all the justice. It's quite a sparkly, pinky kind of iridescent colour, and it just blends really nicely. Just work that in there. And don't forget to do a little bit underneath to get that smoky effect. Makes the eyes pop. Just checking that's all eaten. Cool, so now we've got the shade Fly. This colour is so pretty. It's like a greeny, yellowy, sparkly situation it's really really 
kind of metallic -y. it's so pretty and it just blends so beautifully I love it and next we've got the liquid liner this part still makes me nervous uh, if you want more depth on how I go about my liquid liner you can watch my smoky eye makeup tutorial I basically just find a dot draw it out before I kind of fully commit to this line And I'm just grabbing my pencil liner and just deepening the bottom part again. And adding a little bit of uh, eyeshadow again. Just for depth. And mascara. Don't forget to mascara. Uh, today I'm using my Dior mascara. I love this mascara. It is awesome. And uh, eyebrows. Just fill those guys in. A little bit of brown shadow from my Cryolan palette. Not doing much special with these today, just darkening them up a little bit. Now I'm going to do my contour with this, I don't know, sculpty shaped Kryolan brush that I have here. And I'm just using like a nude tone from my Kryolan palette. I'm sure it had a name once, but I uh, don't know what it is anymore because it's not on there. Just sculpting that face out. Getting some angles going. And don't forget to um, sculpt out my nose a wee bit. And I gotta get underneath as well. And I went too far. Powder it out. A little bit more blending. Ooh, highlighter. So today I am using my Lime Crime palette and I'm using the yellow on my cheekbones here. I love the yellow. It's so pretty. I think it should be called Banana because it definitely is a cute little banana-y shade. And then I'm grabbing the peach tone which is probably the most subtle in the palette and just using it under my eyebrow and that helps kind of blend my shadow in a little bit. Makes my eyebrows look a little more sharp. Don't forget to blush. I'm just using a tiny bit of my Mode blush here. And blending it back out because I went too far. Never mind. So now I'm going to use my liquid lipstick from Lime Crime in the shade Squash. I felt like this was a nice bold move. Kind of goes with my eyeshadow. I also topped this off with a Diamond Crusher. Thanks so much for watching today guys, do not be afraid to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe and also do not forget to tell me which colour you want me to colour my hair next week. Exciting!